3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organize things very quickly. And it's managed to gift it back. And it's played forward. And well played. That has snuffed out the danger. Good spot. He's seen the run. He's had it nicked away. So, what can they make of this? It's good running with the ball. He steps in, and that's the end of that. Petkovic. Yeah, Peter, just have a look at this and see how the strikers are, are drifting into wide positions now. And that's tactical, is it? It's not been forced on them. No, it's all related to the hope of creating space for midfield runners. Well, the manager clearly has to react to this and tactically change what's happening. It's too easy for them to get in. Turns back here, probably the best option. Still goalless. Nice interception. His positioning was spot on. Baba. Move forward and quickly so. Pinches it off him. Mete. Over to the left. And there's his chance to lead the counter. Pissed it forward. Calmly anticipates. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Petkovic. Oh, no, no circumventing this opponent. Ball by the goalkeeper. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Mete. Heights played, climbs up big! Gets good distance on it. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Well, it has been a half largely of could haves and should haves. Perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will feel their overture a goal, but it's certainly not for the want of trying, so nothing to show as yet. At the break, it's nil-nil. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organised. 
An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Pauk can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. He's through here. Gets away from his opponents. Lovely feet. Oh, what decent hit! He has done it! And finally, he has breathed life into the game! That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. Oh, that's a measured delight. The curly applied was immaculate. Dinamo Zagreb are making a change now. So we have our breakthrough. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement for the manager during the break can often straighten things out. It's paid off here. Been cut out, well played. Mitty. And they can counter here. Promising cross. Played out to the left flank. Flashes it across. And that's been levered clear. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed. But will they? Looking for the runner. And that has been cleared. And they've got a throw. Dinamo Zagreb have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Passing is crisp and sharp. Aimed in towards the centre. Oh, that was one big no-no when you've got a cue formed in the box. Dinamo Zagreb have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on. Up towards the front line. Well, that's well seen too. Petkovic. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Baba. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle.